So in this lecture, we'll discuss about the insertion of the membrane protein in the ER. Means how the uh, protein which is synthesized in the RER get inserted inside into the membrane of the ER. Now let's discuss about this topic. As we know that RER basically attached to the endoplasmic reticulum and helps in the synthesis of the protein. Basically, it produces uh, the two different types of the protein. The first one is the soluble protein and the second one is the membrane protein. Soluble protein as the name suggests they are soluble in nature and get easily uh, uh, passed across the uh, endoplasmic membrane and get itself transferred into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum because of its soluble nature. The second type of protein which the RER synthesizes in the ribosome is the membrane protein means which get anchored inside into the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. Membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. Now what happened actually all the integral membrane protein whether it could be of plasma membrane it could be of endoplasmic reticulum of lysosome or the Golgi apparatus means all the in integral membrane protein of these organelles are synthesized in the RER only and from the endoplasmic reticulum they are transferred to the Golgi either to the plasma membrane or to the lysosome. In this way it got transferred to the other organelle and it follows the same secretory uh, pathway as the other protein follow. So in this way the protein is synthesized in the ER and get inserted into the ER membrane because it is the protein of the membrane only so it get embedded inside into the membrane of the ER and from there it get translocated to the other, uh, other organelle which is destined to its location. Now let's discuss how the how these type of membrane protein get inserted inside into the endoplasmic reticulum. So we have already discussed that it is synthesized in the RER and from ER to the Golgi apparatus, plasma membrane, lysosome. In this way, they get transported. And during these transportation, means from the ER to the Golgi to the plasma membrane and lysosome, the orientation in the uh, membrane protein is preserved this is very important you know means during uh, the transportation of the integral membrane protein the orientation do not get disturbed and it is preserved as such as it is transferred to the particular uh, location or the particular membrane it is transported in the same way to the other locations also so transmem it can be called as a transmembrane integral protein as a name suggests it crosses the membrane trans means across so it is present across the membrane and it usually span the membrane on which it is located because it is made up of alpha helices which are of hydrophobic nature and the hydrophobic nature used to span the lipid bilayer or we can say any membrane of the organelle instead of getting inside into the lumen because it is not a soluble protein they diffuses laterally and get inside or embedded inside into the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum and due to the orientation is preserved they have the four different orientation or the four topological classes in which their transportation is possible so now let's discuss uh, uh, about this orientation how actually it is possible and what are the different type of the topological classes are usually there. The first orientation is very simple as all the 